All aboard the toxic cruise ship. This is the Serenade of the Seas, which is Royal Caribbean's ultimate world cruise. And it's been going absolutely viral for a month now, as people on TikTok cannot get enough of the fact that people are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to live on this cruise for 274 nights. From December 10th to September 10th, these cruise ship passengers are set to visit 150 destinations and 11 world wonders across seven continents and 60 countries. And of course, with this many people in such close quarters for this long, there's bound to be some drama and that's exactly what TikTok is tuning in for. It's kind of messed up how bad some people want some things to go wrong to the point that there's a literal bingo card of things that people are betting on happening on this cruise from pirate takeovers to someone falling off the boat. And I hate to say it, but a lot of the things on this bingo card have already been crossed off. Last I checked, there were seven items that have been ticked off and there's just a lot that we have to get into about what's been going on on this ship. From floods, running out of wine, laundry fights, the crew sponsoring people, passengers turning into influencers. It's a whole reality show at this point, and Royal Caribbean really missed out on not partnering up with Bravo for a show at this point. To break down this cruise, passengers are paying a pretty penny for this nine month long excursion, with the interior staterooms starting at around almost $60,000 per person going up to the hundreds of thousands for a suite. There's also different tiers of passengers. Those passengers who have stayed loyal to Royal Caribbean and earned status also have nicer rooms and special perks, but this is seemingly normal when you think about any kind of loyalty program. Some people are kind of making it a big deal at how they're treating some passengers differently, but I feel like this is similar to first class passengers and economy. Like if you fly Delta a lot, maybe you'll get an upgrade to first class because you've been loyal to Delta, that type of thing. I feel like it's really similar to this. But like I said, this cruise kicked off in December and will go until September of this year. The trip is divided into four different segments, all about two-ish months long. Some people are cruising for the whole thing while some are only joining for a specific segment, which is about fifteen dollars to $25,000 a person depending on the room for one of the segments. Now with such a long trip, people online have wondered about work, school, laundry, going stir crazy. There's been a lot on people's minds. It seems like those in school are doing things virtually and same for those who work. They're working from the ship. They have the ability to do laundry as well, but it sounds like as the days go on, the drama has been building. I mean, being on a ship, most staying in a small box of a room with maybe a window if you're lucky. Some are bound to go a little crazy and tea has been spilling about fights between couples and much more. The passengers have started spilling on each other on TikTok with one passenger Gigi writing, I promise the good, bad, and ugly. So here goes. I stayed on the ship to do laundry today, etc. While we're in Recife, Brazil, it's 10.30 a.m. and I've already heard a couple arguing in the hallway by our room. And when I went to the laundry room down another hallway to get my clothes out of the dryer, a woman took her husband's wet clothes and threw them all on the laundry floor and told me she can't live with him anymore in their small room. Since we have been traveling the USA and living in our motor home for the past three plus years, and I felt like if anyone could understand, I could, I tried to give her a few tips, but she wasn't having it. I think living in such a confined space is going to become a problem for many, as it took us a while in our motor home to adjust. It's hard to have wet clothes everywhere or have it come back from ship's laundry three sizes smaller. And there's just no room to spare. In all seriousness, I've got lots of tips if anyone wants to listen, and none of them include throwing your spouse overboard, I promise. Other passengers have revealed ship struggles, as in the past week, the ship flooded after a bad storm, leaving some passengers to move rooms for the time being while theirs dries out. My f room was one of the ones that did flood today. Um, most of the rooms in the ship were completely flying. Um, but where my balcony was, there is an overhang and the rain was coming in so heavy uh, that it was hitting directly the window and coming down that it was all gathering in the rail at the bottom of the branch slider and then pulling over the top. Uh, so the flooding in my room wasn't severe, um, pretty minor, um, but they've got the blowers in my room and I had to wait until this evening to get the blowers because they were um, drying out the more severe wet areas. She did end up giving an update that things were drying out, the blowers were working in her room, but tons of people were just so concerned about this. Back in my room and it looks like 
to have the flowers done quite a good job almost dry the water was sort of out here so not very bad um, how it happened was somehow the water got in and then it was pulling up in here and then coming over the top here and then running along here and then all TikTok viewers have been commenting on videos of the flood worried about the ship going through the Drake Passage, which is known to be a very rocky and rough voyage. And it seems like they might not even have wine to get them through that either because some other passengers reveal that the ship is already running out of wine and it's not even a month into their trip yet. Well, all of you on TikTok, you've been asking for drama on the Ultimate World Cruise. We finally have some drama. We have drama for you. Are you ready? Are you ready? They're running out of wine. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> so they've told us here that we've gone through more wine than they ever anticipated. So they're hoping to get restocked. They're trying in all the different ports. They tried to restock in Barbados. That didn't work. They just tried to restock in Rio. They got a little bit, but uh, I don't know. This is drama. Let's, so. let's look at the bright side. I like cocktails. <laughs> Now there's also been this other thing that's happened on the ship where certain passengers have actually gotten quite internet famous from posting about their trip on TikTok. And now it feels like they're all just cast members of a TikTok reality show at this point. One of the passengers, Brandy, gained a following after opening up about her experience on the ship where people kept being surprised that she was actually a passenger and not an employee. If I get asked if I work on this ship one more time, started out at the pre-cruise gala. It was assumed that I must be working. After I said I was not working, then I was asked, was I independently wealthy? Like, basically, how did you afford this? Now, one of the crew members assumed that I was not a guest when getting back on the ship from an excursion. It's gonna be a long nine months. Another passenger gained some fame when he posted a video sharing that him and his wife are using their kids' inheritance to pay for the trip, and people have been loving the fact that they're treating themselves. Hey kids, remember the time you thought you had inheritance? <laughs> well, here we are. Your mom and I are sitting there spending it as we sell around the world on the Royal Caribbean Ultimate World Cruise. We spend it all in our room and excursions, but we're going to have a heck of nine months and, well, <laughs> your inheritance, well. Another woman gained some fame when she posted a room tour and showed that her door included a sign that was a pineapple, which people on TikTok were saying was a sign for swingers, which some have now come out to say that it's only when the pineapple is upside down. And she ended up addressing all of this, denying the claims. Tita, sorry to disappoint you, but we are not swingers, but we do like pineapples. Here's my pineapple ring. Here's my pineapple necklace and earrings. And Here's that infamous sign for my door. Again, sorry to disappoint you. We're not swingers, but we do like our pineapples. What she has been doing is posting upside down pineapples that she's been seeing on other people's doors. Like in this TikTok, she wrote, swingers on world cruise. Well, look what I found on my walk down the hall this morning. They Royal are Caribbean here after sure all. has noticed those who have gained some fame on social media due to the cruise and have since invited some of them to private dinners. They've also been invited to special events like a sushi making class. And it seems like it's just the beginning of them getting some sort of special treatment for posting so much about the cruise and knowing that people are loving what they're seeing. Even some influencers who have been reporting on the cruise are now getting invited to go on board. One brand is sending someone who's been talking about the cruise on the cruise for a little over two weeks. Alternatively, put me on the cruise. I'll go. If you if you pay for one sec, I am. I'm going on the Ultimate World Cruise. 18 nights <laughs> aboard the Serenade of the Seas. I'm going to fucking Antarctica. I only own fashion jackets. What, what am I gonna wear? And a very unexpected and cool brand reached out to me and was like, you wanna go on that cruise? And I was like, <laughs> really? They were like, you wanna go on or not? And I was like, well, yes, I leave in six days. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be Melly Cruise. I'm gonna walk on and with this. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win. <laughs> It's not a competition, but I'm gonna make it one. I'm scared. I'm scared. 
the Drake Passage, babe. North Sea, right under it, Drake Passage. Anyone know what to do for, for seasickness? Those little um, bracelets work? Fans of his have been wishing him luck, especially after seeing the ship was flooded the other day, but he said yes, so I guess we'll have to see his reports of what the cruise is like once he's on board. And I'm sure he isn't the only influencer they're inviting on the cruise, but wild to think that this is something that's actually happening where a cruise ship is going so viral that they're having influencers come on board to join in on the virtual reality show of it all. I wonder if any of the passengers not on TikTok even know about the fact that this whole ship has become such a spectacle with people getting famous on it and so many people watching everything unfold. And like I said, we're just less than a month into this thing. But as of right now, that's what's been going on on this ship. I wanna know if you guys have been seeing any of this cruise ship TikTok drama going on and what you think about it, even if you haven't heard about any of it until right now. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.